Rebuilding a large old twin-cylinder steam engine, this is part 17. And it's the final assembly of one side before the first test run on compressed air. I'm just checking that everything's rotating as it should be, and of course it is. Before I make the fittings that hold the eccentric rod onto the expansion link, I need to make sure that the valve's travel is correct. The valve needs to uncover the ports an equal amount at either end as the engine is rotated. Previously I was unable to get this setting because the expansion link was just swinging about in free air. But now the eccentric rods are coupled to the expansion link and the expansion link is in the right place, I can see where the valve is. It really is essential to make sure that this valve is in the right place when timing a steam engine. It will of course run if it's slightly out, but the beats will be uneven, as steam is admitted and exhausted at different times at each end of the stroke. As it turns out, I nearly got the setting correct in the first place. What I had to do was rotate the expansion link a couple of turns to put the valve precisely in the right place. Now that the valve is in the right place, I can go ahead and make the fittings to permanently bolt the eccentric rods to the expansion link. Before making the fittings though, I am going to have one more look at this to make sure the valve is in precisely the right place, because once it's all bolted together, it will be a pain having to unbolt it. The valve would appear to be in the right place as it's moving the same amount at each end of the stroke. So it's time to make the pins that fasten it all together. These pins are one eighth of an inch in diameter with a 4BA thread at each end. A tight 4BA thread as well, because I don't want them to be a rattle fit. Although one of the nuts is actually going to be fastened on with some Loctite 603. The other thing I'm also going to have to do is machine the nuts to be a smaller thickness. There isn't much room at all between the two bars that pull the expansion link back and forth. Leaving the nuts standard size will just make it so that they foul the bars. Once the wonderful Loctite 603 is fully cured, it's over to the lathe to machine some of the nut away. The lathe is currently running too slowly really so I'm just taking gentle cuts. And for those of you who like things to be correct, you will notice that the lathe tool is below the centre height. I will address this problem forthwith, but as a temporary measure, I will use a file to remove it. The usual word of caution when filing in the lathe, keep the file out of the way of the chuck, and always make sure that your file has a proper handle on it, not the sharp tang that is normally on the end of a file. A while back, from eBay, I bought quite a few 4BA brass half nuts. These are used as lock nuts normally, but they're ideal for the other end of the pins. And as you've just seen, I'm using a pair of surgical forceps to position the brass nut, and now I'm using a spanner and a socket to just nip it up tightly. But not too tightly. You do not want to squeeze the forked end of the eccentric rod onto the expansion link. Here I'm temporarily bolting up the two bars that pull the expansion link back and forth. I'm having to use a washer at each side to space it out a little bit. Because even with the half nuts, it's still far too tight. But with the washers fitted, it's all going to clear quite nicely. I've also made a stud that secures the expansion link to the two bars. Any nuts that are on these studs that I've made will be secured with thread lock, not with Loctite 603. That's okay for one end, but it would not be a good idea to use Loctite 603 on both ends in case you ever needed to take it apart. So now I can actually fit the steam chest cover. There really is not a lot I can do here about the stud that's in the wrong place, but when the steam chest covers are fully painted, that should hopefully merge into the background somewhat. I intend to paint both the steam chests and the steam chest covers black. The black that you can see on the steam chest cover is just an undercoat. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.